Hello again, everybody. It's Steve Rizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in part five of our eight-part basic training with Adobe Premiere Elements. Special effects are kind of fun. You don't want to overuse them, but uh, the program has effects if you want them. You just go over here to the toolbar on the right and click on Effects. You can see that if I select Show All, got a huge library of very cool effects. Some of these are for correcting your color. Some are for enhancing your color. Some are for doing color grading, and some are for doing effects like uh, chroma key and video merge for making a background disappear and replacing it with another background. We cover those in other tutorials and in the book here also. Let's go ahead and add an interesting effect here, the New Blue Cartooner. Now, New Blue is a special effects company that um, provides a lot of the special effects for Premiere Elements. Uh, by the way, in addition to the huge library of about 100 special effects, there are over 300 preset effects where the program has provided you effects with some settings already applied to them. And these are things for picture in picture, for instance, for uh, animated swirls and solarize effects. They're all very good. But let's go back here to our cartooner effect. And by the way, I can quickly get to any effect either by clicking on the category up here at the top and browsing to it, or by just going to the magnifying glass here, clicking and typing in the name of the effect. And there's my cartooner and it just searches in real time. So let's drag our cartooner effect onto this clip on the timeline. And now suddenly my realistic picture has turned into a cartoon. Now there are with every effect, a huge number of ways to customize the effect. And some of these are pretty elaborate. Some are pretty simplified. But whenever there's a really elaborate effect like this cartooner effect, the program can also provide quite often presets so these are preset settings for the cartooner. We can take a look and do, for instance, light cartoon or drawing. Pencil test is one of my favorites. It kind of turns it into a line drawing and see it applies to the entire video. It's actually pretty cool. Now to temporarily turn off any effect, all you need to do is click on the little eyeball here and that'll temporarily disable the effect. To reset an effect, you just click on the reset button and it'll set it back to its default settings. And then to remove it completely, you just click on the trash can and you can add another effect. Now these two video effects are uh, by default added to the program motion and opacity. Uh, opacity effect is uh, very effective for creating fades, fade ins and fade outs. And we discuss that more in the book and motion, which we'll show you a little later is very effective for creating keyframed animations. But let's grab one more effect here. I'm going to clear the search on cartoon by clicking on this little X here on the right. And let's just grab one basic 3D and I'm going to drag it down onto the clip. And with basic 3D, I can actually rotate the clip here within the video frame. So I can move the swivel here and kind of swing it around or tilt it or even move its distance away from the lens. Now this by itself doesn't make a lot of sense, but as we'll show you in our next tutorial, uh, you can keyframe animation here and actually make this video come twirling or come rolling through space. Let's try one more effect. One of my favorites is old film and old film can make your movie look like an old movie. Pretty cool. So uh, right now it's got the sepia tone and some scratches and some flutter, but we can, uh, we can affect if we want to make it just bad color or completely black and white, we have that option. We can add more jitter to it, add more blotches to it and more damage to it. So every effect has, you have the option of customizing and controlling it. There are audio effects as well as video effects. And let's take a look at the audio effects here. If I go over here to the effects button, I can click on the audio and you can see there are close to 20 audio effects here. So a lot you can do to control how your movie looks. But in all cases, it's as simple as adding the effect to a clip on your timeline and then adjusting it in applied effects or selecting that clip on the timeline as I've done here. And then going over here to the applied effects button on the toolbar to reopen and adjust any effect. And you can of course have several effects applied to one video clip. Finally, one set of effects worth taking a look at here. I'm just going to remove that and we'll take a quick look here is the category of Hollywood looks. 
These Hollywood looks are color gradations that you can apply to your clip and give your clip kind of a unique Hollywood look or make it look like it's taking place in a desert or make it look like it's a pleasant summer day. And I show you how to use these in the book. I also have a tutorial demonstrating those. Uh, Hollywood looks are a great way to add professional style color gradations to your videos and give them a unique tone and mood. All right, join us in part six. We're gonna take a look at how to animate some of these effects and uh, create our own custom special effects here in part six of our eight part basic training for Premiere Elements. Hope you join us.